Hello, this is Y'all Weasel and Malo. Let's play Rapture <laughs> and the Fortress of Doom. What? <laughs> let's Rapture and the Fortress of Doom. I think you should crawls through the small opening in the rock. Why? Why? Why did you do that? <laughs> Alexander finds himself in a dark cave. Well, it made the point sound, so it must have been a good idea. <laughs> ah! Alexander takes the candle from his tinderbox and uses the flint in the box to light it. I'm glad we had that on us. Yes! What a convenient coinky dink. That Doo -doo -doo. also should, must have been the right thing. Yep. I'm a little worried that we let the woman get away like but I, that was the genie i feel something? like you're gonna spend the entire game yeah. letting the genie yeah. get away okay see now i would have wandered back uh down the path before immediately climbing into a tiny hole but i mean you know some guys like uh paths some guys like climbing into tiny holes what can i say alexander crawls through the opening in the rock did you actually need the lantern? It seems like you could have done that anyway. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Maybe here? This part of the cave is better. Alexander extinguishes the candle's flame and places it back in his pack. I... Nope, not here. I, what? I don't... I don't... Yeah, I don't know what the purpose I of that was. I assume that if you hadn't used it there, you would have been eaten by a Gru or something. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You're almost certainly right about that. I thought that was a large opening far in the background. For Alexander to Me too. Okay. Me can you, too. Can you look through it? A plant grows on the grassy ledge. Hmm. Smells like peppermint. <sighs> peppermint. No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Let to me do. walk to the peppermint. Alexander takes a few leaves from the plant. As he does so, a strong smell of peppermint is released. Yay! Yeah, I only need like three leaves of peppermint. I don't. <laughs> I could grab, like, the whole frickin' plant, but nah. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is... Alexander crawls back into the first room of the cave. It is a bit pointlessly destructive to take all of the leaves and kill the plants. <laughs> Although peppermint is like... I can't see a thing. Peppermint is like an invasive species. Alexander takes the candle from his tinderbox. But, uh, well, I mean, on Earth. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Who knows where it where it belongs in the world of Daventry and whatever kingdom we're in right now? <laughs> Alexander crawls back through the passage to the top of the cliffs. You know, you could have just shown that. We would have understood it anyway. See now, like I was saying, I would have walked up that path before climbing into a tiny hole. <laughs> That's what makes you different from me. I guess. <laughs> Okay. I think that's the German spelling. Alexander decides to try some of the black. No, no I just didn't want to try some, some. You idiot! Exactly. <laughs> taste fills his mouth. His stomach convulses in pain. <gasps> As the tickets. Oh. <laughs> if this is the kind of flying the old lady meant. Flying to death. Tickets. Oh. <laughs> Tickets off. <laughs> Some land I have for sale on the death bogs of Tamir. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> I, th I think that was like a, I'll, I'll sell you a. Oh if yeah. If you yeah, believe yeah, that, yeah. I'll sell, You're right, sell yeah, you. Right. Yeah. Your bridge to sell you or whatever. <laughs> Let me just stand slightly in the background. Come on. Oh. An intruder. Hold. How did you get up here, human? I climbed the cliffs. That is not possible. No one has solved the cliffs of logic in several centuries. And if the cliffs were to be solved, nobody else has the manual. Certainly not be by a human. I a I human to trespass. I only wanted to visit this beautiful island. No visitors have been welcome on the Isle of the Sacred Mountain in years. Not since the Red and White Queens had spies in the guise of friendly visitors steal our island's sacred golden fleets. But we will not display such foolish trust again. 
You will have to answer to Lord Azure and Lady Ariel. They will determine what will be done with you. I can Azure and Air. Yep. Pleasant. So, Golden We just got raptured. <laughs> Golden Fleece. Have we seen anything similar to Golden Fleece? No. But maybe we have to talk to the queens. Again. Only the magic of clear thought, my lord. I meant no harm. The gifts of logic. It is the sacred oracle's prophecy, Azure. Yes, Ariel. Hmm. It is lucky for you, human, that climbing the cliffs of logic is part of a prophecy that I cannot ignore. We have just been ordered by Wazir Al-Hazred himself to dispose of any strangers that might land on our fair isle. But the prophecy would have a different fate befall you. The prophecy... I'm so swole, I can't move my body. The Minotaur. the Minotaur has violated our sacred catacombs and eats our young in sacrifice. Our own mm. daughter, Lady Celeste, was taken there only this morning as his mm. most recently demanded offering. A dilemma, then. Whom shall I obey in regards to your fate, the oracle or the crown? But since Al-Hazred did not dictate how I was to dispose of intruders, and since you cannot possibly survive the catacombs, your imprisonment there should serve both purposes quite admirably. I will not brilliant in this, my lord. I shall do my best to save your daughter. Hmm. First, I must tell you that the catacombs are a labyrinth of rooms, a place of exceeding danger. A minotaur in a labyrinth? What? <laughs> wits to survive it. Azure, he must be allowed time to prepare for the task, if only in the slight chance that he could actually save our Celeste. Oh, very well. Intruder, my guards will take you to the beach. Prophesied hero or spy, any soldier must be granted time to prepare for battle. Be warned, if you have the courage to actually return to the Isle of the Sacred Mountain... We'll kill you anyway. ...my guards will have orders to take you to the catacombs on sight. I understand, Lord Azure. If by some miracle you succeed, human, the prophecy grants you a visit with the Sacred Oracle. Her powers are mighty, her vision all-seeing. Many of our own citizens would be willing to risk certain death in the catacombs for a chance at a meeting with the Oracle. May that thought give you the courage to return. Oh, I will return, Lady Ariel. You have my word. It's part of the plot of the game, so I shall certainly return. I kind of feel like it's an endgame thing, though. Like I don't. Okay. Because they're kicking us out and saying, come back when you're ready. Yeah. Uh, and I, I feel like that means that there are certain events that must happen first, but I don't feel like that necessarily means it's an endgame. Okay, well, that I, I guess maybe not endgame, but I mean that we're, we're not necessarily supposed to do that now. Right, yeah, yeah. I, I can entirely believe that we are not yet ready. <laughs> um, but we did get the peppermint, thanks we did, to and that's you exactly. sneaking in and the I, holes before... I, I, uh, <laughs> going down was that paths. one of the where's the spells where's the list of spells ew aren't i was that to, yes i have the list of spells uh what what did you see that no what he, he just walked into here for no reason and then walk and then i forced him to walk back <laughs> and he made it all the way here sometimes you f just feel like the sea is calling for you <laughs> apparently i don't see mint as one of the it was yeah it was i guarantee it was one of it was like mint oil or mint something yeah like that's that. right so why don't i have that written down <laughs> well uh, then i i think i still have the recipe book right i mean i oh, can just course. look at it yeah, 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 because there was, there was something that was like, oh, of course, now the mints aren't available. Yep. Let's, let's look through it in fast motion. 
Ooh. He must have said something about peppermint oil then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there is, there is no, yeah, there's no spell that requires yeah, peppermint, no but there is a shopkeep that does. <laughs> yes. Alexander pulls out his magic map. I brought you a single leaf of peppermint because I figured yeah, that should yeah. be enough. Was it him though, or was it somebody else? I don't like, know. He, he said yeah, that yeah, we I know that it, it was but... mentioned, but I don't really know where or why or when. <laughs> it's been too long, too long. And I don't have uh, peppermint written as one of my sort of mystery. Yeah, oh no, mint extract. Half... Mint extract. Yeah. There it is. Where is it? Uh, it's, it's just it, all I have oh. written is mint extract. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I have no explanation for why mint extract is important. Good day, Prince Alexander. Good day, Princess I, I still don't have money, but would you like... Uh, you grabbed what? the wrong thing. <laughs> but would you like a leaf of mint? Would you be interested in making a trade for this merchant? I think not. I do not have much call for that item these days. <laughs> what are you... Oh, wait, wait. Try and grab a mint and see what he says. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> You can't cancel out of an action once you've started it. Not easily. Unless you rapture yourself. <laughs> Good day. I feel like I haven't seen you in seconds. She's empty. Didn't he say something maybe about it? Maybe the mint dish is empty. Maybe uh, maybe we heard it from the, the genie slash snake hey. guy himself. Yeah. And maybe we need to bring it to... Um, that one genie guy at the, the remember the statues that yes. are guarding that yes. garden area. I mean, I assume it's all the same genie, but yes. But I feel like we should we should have to do something with it first. I will be right up. Or was it him that wanted so somebody that's, wanted mint desperately? I know because they said specifically extract. Would you care for some mint? No, thank you. I do not care for mint. Dang it! <laughs> Am I gonna have to go over previous videos and I try and- I kind of feel like yes. Okay, let's pause, go to the menu. <laughs> Please hold. It is the pawn shop owner who wants mint extract as much as anybody does. But we don't know how to extract from mint. Do that to the peppermint leaves. Yes, there is. <laughs> don't do. Don't we have some booze? Because that's how you actually make extract. <laughs> what did he say? The peppermint leaves are the color of dark emeralds. Okay, that's not useful. That's that is no, an I don't insane. Have booze. Like that. That's I, that's true, but it's the most insane thing yeah, to compare yeah. it to. It is. It it might kind of be that color, but like really, when you discuss emeralds, you're not so much talking about just the pure color as like the brilliance, which mint does not have. Do you have anything for making extract? If I traded this in. Of course. Sure, I'm the stupidest pawn shop in the world. Items on the counter. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. I mean, none of those are going to make uh, mint extract. Shove it in the flute. <laughs> and then get real drunk and then booze up into the flute. Just vomit booze into the flute. Well, the question is, which of these two items am I going to need next? Mm. I would for the flute. Okay. <laughs> the flute. Very good, Prince Alex. The flute. Can music always be sweet. Feel free to trade it back at any time. Thank you. <laughs> May its music always be sweet, but since it won't. <laughs> extract. I wonder if there's a book on making extract. That's actually a good point, even though I would have yeah. good day. I, yeah, can't handle it. 
A collection of children's books fill those shelves. Let's let's look in fast motion. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so, I am I am the guide master. We generally try to avoid walkthroughs, but if we feel like to avoid stupidity, we should. I I am the one who looks at it since Molo is playing, and all I'm saying is. Don't do anything with the peppermint. Just keep it in your pocket. <laughs> hey there, bird. Crystalline song in the boughs of the old tree. The nightingale <laughs> looks at Alexander curiously, as though waiting for something. I mean, I I wish I would know what I should be bringing you, but I didn't get to see the cutscene. Of what do you sing? The nightingale only looks at Alexander curiously and continues to sing. Gangster rap. <laughs> Is that what I need to bring the nightingale? Gangster rap. My, I was, I was asserting that. Uh, yes, that it was singing gangster rap. Yes. Alexander doesn't see a reason to put that in the tree's hot. <laughs> I. So I mean, you already sent like the the Oops. love poetry, right? Uh, yeah. Alexander shows the object to the bird, hoping to interest her. The little bird just ruffles her feathers at the sight of that large, brightly colored scarf. It's just occurred to me that that's another thing to look at uh, the walkthrough, just in case. Yeah, hmm. <laughs> there was supposed to be a cutscene? Hold out, and more than that, hold out the love poem you found in the bookstore to the bird. When she comes back, she is carrying a letter. Pick it up and read it. Wow. Did we... We didn't get a letter. We didn't get a letter. Um... Next time? <laughs> next time. Is it already next time? Yes. <laughs> if you didn't tell him thanks for watching, if you liked the video, do leave a like below. Cheers from y'all, Weasel. <laughs> And have a great day.